Raise your hand if you love spending time on manual, tedious tasks instead of automating things. I'm sure you didn't raise your hand. In this video, I want to show you how you can automate visitor processes and how that doesn't actually just only save time to your team, but it actually can create really great experiences for your visitors as well. So this is an example of some of the things that you can create with a modern visitor management system. So uh, the core concept behind automations is visit types, having different types of visits that trigger different types of actions and steps throughout the registration process and after the registration process is completed. This is an example. You could have a customer visit and decide to require to take a picture of them and print a visitor badge, perhaps with that picture on it for easier identification. You can create checkout policies that automatically check these visitors out at the end of the day or at the end of the working day. And then after 24 hours from their visit, send out a survey. All of this stuff could be fully automated. And this is just an example of a simple workflow that you can create. When I say that the core concept is visit types, that's because depending on the type of visit, you can create different flows. So you're going to have different types of people visiting your facility. That could be suppliers, job candidates, event attendees. You could even have different departments within your company responsible for these types of visit. It could be marketing being in charge of events, for instance, and it could be sales being in charge of receiving customers and so on. So you will want to make sure that for each of this visit, there is a flow that makes sense, both from your perspective and from the of a security and compliance standpoint. As an example, if the visit type is event, you may want to ask the attendee how did they hear about the event in the first place or other questions that will help you run a better event next time. What an easy to use system does is to make it easier for you to customize the forms the way you want, even if multiple departments or multiple people are involved. So marketing could just say, hey, it's important to have this three question and I'm going to show you in a second, it would take literally just a minute for an admin to uh, make sure to have that step within the registration process for events. So we can take a look at what the flow looks like from the user perspective, and then I'll show you also uh, the admin dashboard. So the experience starts at the registration point like this one, where visitors can uh, sign in and check in their visit. The interface might look more branded uh, with your own colors. But uh, uh, from there, yeah, users would retrieve their visit either by typing their email or perhaps by scanning a QR code if the visit was pre-registered and you want a faster check-in process. And from there, based on the visit type, you would have specific steps. So it could be custom questions and forms, like I mentioned earlier. It could be requiring to uh, print uh, a picture, to take a picture of the visitor. It could be requiring the signature for documents like an NDA or other types of documents. And from there, the visitor is checked in. You can set up instructions to let visitors know where to go. You can set up automations to automatically print a badge, for instance, share access to the Wi-Fi and, and all of that. So you can set up all of those things. On top of that, hosts get notified that the visitor has checked in. And on the admin side, your presence log gets populated so the visit is properly tracked in real time and you know anyone that is on site at any moment. Hopping on the admin side of things, managing visit types is very easy and managing automations is very easy. So you could create a visit type and call it a, a marketing event. And from there, define whether you want to require a picture of the visitor or not, whether documents are needed, probably not in this case, and create custom form fields. Define what's required, what's optional, and, and all of that. And once these are created, uh, adding a visit is very, is very straightforward because you would have visit types here. And by selecting one of these types, it would automatically pull all of the steps and automations that you set up in place. So you don't need to do anything else. You just need to select this field and everything else will follow. That's pretty much what makes solutions like Archie very powerful because everything is very easy to manage uh, from the dashboard, but the automations are 
actually quite powerful. They create really good experiences for visitors and they can save a lot of time to, to admins and to your team in general. Now, one last thing that I want to show you, which is not related to automation, but just to show you what on top the system would be doing is related to uh, tracking and analytics. So you would have a presence log, of course, uh, that would tell you all of the visitors along with additional details that you can include in here. Uh, you would have a real-time snapshot of who's on site, which could include also your employees, not only visitors, if you're using the product also to track office attendance. And you can also have all of these uh, additional analytics uh, available as well as reports that you can download for uh, tracking historical presence. So the system obviously does a lot more, but just to uh, wrap things up on the automations side, what makes modern systems stand out is definitely the ease of use. So you not only have a pretty great experience from the visitor perspective, which by the way also results in a nice first impression of your company, of course, but also you can define the policies and processes that you want very easily. And you can change those over time, literally in a matter of seconds without requiring uh, any kind of IT support or, or anything like that. Anyone in your team can do that. And it's an easier to maintain system compared to perhaps more legacy solutions that have uh, more complex ways of, uh, of managing things. So I'm hoping you found this useful, especially if you currently do not have uh, any of these uh, automated rules in place. I think uh, it would be important to, to start looking into that. It could be that your existing system already supports uh, a lot of that stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you found this useful and we have more content on visitor management. So I'm really hoping to see you in the next one. Take care.